Good morning, Dan. Yeah, history is really being reimagined here this morning in Jersey City. It's absolutely fascinating. When you take a look at these photographs that I'm surrounded by here in this room, you see the beautiful colors and the images of these young girls. And that is the theme of this exhibition. But to take it one step further, all of these faces you see, they are all victims of the Holocaust. And it's about keeping their memories alive and reimagining them today. If they were alive, what would have happened from their old photographs to their new ones. You see them from back during the Holocaust to what they would look like reimagined. And the artist who put together this beautiful exhibition, she's with us this morning here on PIX11 Morning News. Wow, this is absolutely fascinating. Thank you for joining us here this morning. Uh, Lauren Bergman, you are the visionary behind all of this. Why is it so important to create something like this? Well, witnessing the rise in divisiveness in our country and the rise of hatred reverberating in the streets, I wanted to tell stories of victims of hatred. And um, so I took the historical image and told, gave a story to people, young girls, who didn't get to have a story of their own. It really is remarkable, Lauren, thank you. And you know, with so many of the victims that we talk about and the women who didn't make it through uh, the Holocaust, we do have a unique story here on PIX11 because Lucia Rosenzweig Milch is with us this morning and she is one of the survivors of the Holocaust. And Lucia, you are portrayed in a photograph that is here in this exhibition. Thank you for being with us this morning. What does this exhibition mean to you? It is very important to have an exhibition like this. For those of us who are the remnant of the remnant left, there are not that many people anymore left in the 90s. I am one of them. For those of us, we've always been plagued with the question, what can we do in order not only to commemorate, but to stop this calamity, this human tragedy, to stop and never to ensure that it'll never happen again? How do we reach people? How do we teach youngsters how do we tell them something that they should not be so frightened that they are frightened away from listening to us? It is paramount because we know that even today, hatreds, deep ones at the very core of a person exist. And one of them, which is a hatred which was addressed specifically an ancient one, an old one, to the Jewish people. What is that hatred? anti-Semitism. Lucia, that's certainly something we still see today, and that's why these exhibitions are so important and so relevant. And thank you for being here and being a part of this story and really just keeping the memories alive of all of the Holocaust victims. This exhibition here will continue throughout August and September. It's going to take a new home at Brandeis University before it moves on to Miami. There's also some, uh, look how cool these photographs are. They're kind of like a digital style form of the photograph. So it's absolutely fascinating and then the exhibition will make its way around the world educating people all over uh, young and old about the Holocaust so that is what we are talking about this morning we'll get some of this information on our website pix11.com so maybe you can come out and check it out firsthand see what it's like it's absolutely beautiful when you see these images up close and personal I'm Rebecca Solomon Dan and Hazel I'll send it back to you yeah, it's such an important part of history that we should never forget Rebecca.